Hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Um, you remember last episode we uh, got ourselves one more fighter. We got ourselves Vernon Roach himself. Our good friend from back in The Witcher 3. The guy that we worked endlessly with. So we can go and talk to Zoltan, we can go and talk to uh, Dijkstra, we can go and talk to Triss. So let's start from the south side, we're going to go to the Gate of Hierarch and uh, talk to Zoltan. And we've worked a lot with him, so I'm hoping we don't have to actually do too much in order to get him on our side. Um, which will be, you know, kind of what we want. It's good to be back into a city. We can fuck up those witch. Oh shit, what were these here for? Hello. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chive? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. Hmm. Well, let's there see. A problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. <laughs> oh. Just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our mm. reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, mm. then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. <laughs> Well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shit without a shovel. Well, what's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the king hmm. of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better oh, every right. minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. They do. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. I've got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, get out? Hmm. Well, we'll help him. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you hmm. don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Boy, would you mind going to see him? Zed. Oh, sounds familiar. Big fish in the car pond. Has a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. Hmm. See you later, Zoltan. So we'll do this for him, and hopefully. Huh? This will help us, so let's we got a there we go. Dangerous game. And I think we're gonna need to be paying this off anyway. I mean how much how much money have we got? Two thousand seven hundred. I'm sure, I'm sure if needed we would have been able to have paid a good sum for some of his debt. Okay, which one is it? Is it 
it up here. And I'm sure I'm assuming it's gonna be a higher one. Locked. But looks like Zed's inside and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Hmm. It's a material world. Okay. Oh, I want that. That's a good idea. <laughs> See, I wonder if I can jump on here and climb in through this window. No. Okay, must find another way in. Someone's mating out in that room. We're above. Well, here he is, I think. Must be Zed. Hmm. Oh, that's just a book. Okay, is it any anything? Must be Zed. Okay, thought we might be able to loot it. Let's just oh, let's just get the stool sword out just in case there's anything we don't need. Thought there might be. No. Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Hmm. At least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! There we go. There you go. You time to shine, I say. Grilled sandwich. Nice. Okay. Cutie's pawn shop. There's the card. something. Wonder how that just might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. So all this is going to say, because I still think there's something off this guy. If we use Ard here, hmm. must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Okay. There we go. You look familiar. Maybe we do. But it depends if you want to die or not as to whether I look so called quote unquote familiar. Zoltan. Get out. Hmm. Well, let's just go I around know where Siri is. And why are we here? Let's go get the lassie. I'll do that. But I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Siri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Hmm. Vesemir I just got myself a rare card without even needing it. Okay. That's, that's good. We can add it to it later. Talk to Dijkstra. He's 400 away. Trish is 400. Village you from? Oops, sorry. Let's get rid of our own custom marker. Because that's really fucking annoying.
There we go. So Triss has a job for us, which is labelled a matter of life or death. So, if, if, if we can do that and help her out, it'd be good. There's someone behind us that didn't really want yes. to play. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, hmm. it won't stay long. Oh shit. Well, he's dealt with. Okay, there we go. They're well and truly dead. Thank you, so-called honest people. I'm assuming Triss is up here in your very wonky house. Maybe top floor of this completely crooked house. You'd think with those sorcerers, you Geralt, sorcer I got a sorcerers. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? I finally know where Siri is. Really? That's wonderful. Wait, why haven't you brought her here? Is she in danger? Guessed mm. it. As soon as I reach her, the wild hunt will know. I need you to go to Kaer Morhen. As soon as I have Siri, I'll take her there. We'll face the hunt together. Geralt, you know I'd do anything for Siri, but we'll need to evacuate the mages from the city any day now. They're counting on me. I can't leave them. Hmm. I understand. What if we had all the mages with us? If you helped me, we'd speed things up considerably. Think about it and let me know. Okay. Well. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. Mm, you guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed hmm. to be the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him is a good idea. Right. Don't we'll handle this it. at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Hmm. Well, gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. I think it'll be better if I talk hmm. to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Well, let's do that. Down the wonky house. I don't want to talk to Dijkstra. I want to help Triss first. We're actually getting getting these jobs done quite close, quite quickly. Help Triss finish what she has to do. Secondary quests, cabaret, no. Uh, nope, not that one. There you go. Oh. Run into the prick. Okay, we'll go this way. I think we can. No, we can't cut through. 
saying that, I think we could have cut through them. Yeah, a witcher. Someone that would be able to slice your head off very quick. Lots of blue jerkins. Interesting. Wanted mm. to ask you. Hi, how can I be your service? Well, know who give me the best price on trout? But taking season for trout. Buy a bucket of oysters. Please the wife like never before. It's obviously not him. It's not him. That's for sure. He's got keys. Yeah. No hmm. one I can get the best price on trout. Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Wanna talk to the letter's recipient, I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Okay. This way. It's not far. Do we have to how many people do we have to kill? Sit, keep on running, keep on running. Thank you. Let's go. Chicken sandwich. Don't mind if I do. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Hmm. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Baldo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I it, it just weren't what I expected. Since Lady hmm. Bud. Well. Let's keep so questioning. Find out what it's actually Strength. about. Con Lady con Bud's fully. son is the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple guards gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the hunters pay for every mage revealed to them, guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Hmm. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Taint that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not hmm. manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. Well, it's a good idea. A boisterous bash that'll distract the hunters. Especially That's the best thing we can do. Half of what I've heard about the Vagelbuds balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, my lady's ordained but eighty-five desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from the Zaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Hmm. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Well, we're going. I hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. Two. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Okay. And where are we gonna get one of those? Think we said that now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare, change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. 
I bet True. you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie Hal's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Mm, okay. Guess we need to wear ourselves a, a doublet. Okay, let's go see Elia. I remember him. I, mean, I think we've even bought a mask of him before. Oh. I kind of bought a wolf mask of him because oh. I thought it looked cool. Should just be out here on the left. He's in one of these houses, isn't he? Okay, come on, fucking jump, you useless twat. Alright, let's move on. Okay, so where we need to go? Maybe it's self over that building. Okay. Where's Elia? Where's Elia? Here he is. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection. Yeah, yes, we have actually. Show me what you got in stock. I hate going into Gwen Gwen games. Yes, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Hmm. It's not usually the intention I have. So this is a doublet. Um, that's a tunic. Wolf mask. Bird mask. We're gonna buy one of those, and we're also gonna buy. Let's go with. Let's go with this one. Okay. And farewell. So long. Thank you. Okay. Why bring in Trist? We're bringing Trist the mask when surely we want to be wearing one as well. Because if 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 they're going to if they say spot us as a Witcher, they're most likely going to know that we are quite close friends with sorceresses like Trist or sorry mages. Oh God, tired. Oh, she's up there. Hm, very nice dress. Very emeraldy. Geralt. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just you look good when you're giddy. You get everything. Bought the mask. Ready. We can go. Just a shame you didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on oh, my Oh, we did. We did. You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, hmm. shall we go? <sighs> I didn't... I, I bought that doublet doublet for no reason now. Oh, God. Well, damn it. This is a shame. There's nothing we can do about it now. Alright, let's get in. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. Things in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Well, can we not actually go into our inventory? How could he? 
Well, we actually can't. Can we... We actually can't get into our inventory to put on the new outfit. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, hmm. the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages <laughs> outside the passive floor. This is nice to talk to. What a jackass. I just walked past him. Like again. <laughs> Moritz, what are you doing here? You took Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant. Hmm. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Mm. Oh well. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenfell. Tell you the story later. Agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man, like no one hmm. else. No. Oh. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. Probably but means they're the preparing. God, he claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't hmm. know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. True. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. And how will we recognize him? What's he wearing? How will we recognize him? Hmm. He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. He seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Hmm. Let's look for Albert. We will do that. Let 
don't think he's in this this group of people. He's very big-headed, like, big-headed is a word, yep, that's the, that's the phrase I was looking for. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden, we'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hmm. Don't know whether I should. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Not if I get there first, Tris. Signs of famine and war are necessary. Alright guys, as we sit down here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bid you all farewell for this episode. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do as always. L hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here. And if you have any comments or questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. I'm always grateful for them and always love getting back to you. Uh, apart from that, as always, the links are in the description for my Twitter and my Twitch. 